We're making a sci-fi short film in our house. Here's a quick look at how we created one of the visual effects for the film. Hey everybody, I'm Sean Foy. I'm a freelance producer, director, DP, and editor, and I make my own movies. In my latest work in progress, Playspace, we have some major visual effects in about 95% of the film, including giant spaceships and walking and talking teddy bears. I'm still working on the production, but I thought I'd take a minute to show how we created some of the visual effects for the film. And be sure to stick around to the end because I've got some important tips for when it comes time to filming the effects shots for your movie. Bad teddy. In the film, there's a scene where Devon runs into her closet to activate a secret trap door that drops her down to an underground hangar where she keeps her spaceship. Hold on, Penny. <sighs> the camera spin was a practical effect shot with a 360 degree rotating head hung vertically from a homemade platform. We shot Devin sitting on a piece of green screen that we bought at a fabric store and had her act out the fall. I keyed out the floor and made two separate layers from the original shot, one of just the closet elements and one of just Devin. I then took the whole shot into After Effects to track the camera spin. I could have done the whole effect here, but I decided to keep the top layers of my NLE for easier color matching. I matched a clean shot of the carpet to my tracked camera, then split a cutout into two halves for the doors. The 3D door layers weren't looking quite right, so I added a mask and radial blur to help sell the effect. I layered the door effect into the keyed closet to see how it all looked, then added in a pre-composed shot of a 3D hallway below it with a bit of metal tube in between. Then I added some shadows to help sell where the hinges would separate the doors from the main closet floor. I rendered out the trap doors and hallway, then placed it in my timeline below the keyed closet and Devon shots. Finally, to make Devon look like she was falling, I took her ISO shot and just shrank her in the frame by expanding the frame size past the dimensions of the shot. And that's basically it. There she goes. So I promised you a tip for when it comes time to shoot the effects for your film, and I think this is pretty important. If you're gonna be shooting an effects shot that involves any kind of foreground elements or temporary elements, uh, like a temporary prop or a green screen that only covers part of the frame that you're gonna be taking out later, I think it's very important for you to shoot a clean plate. And for anyone that doesn't know, a clean plate is basically a locked off semi-wide shot that has none of these elements in it. You take out your green screens, you take out any of your temporary props or foreground elements, you have nothing moving, and you lock it down just to get a nice clean shot of what that background looks without your effect in it. And this is gonna do a lot for you. This is gonna help you fill in the holes for where your effects don't cover, or fill in the background behind your effects. Um, it's gonna just help with shadows and with color correction and a, a host of other issues that you may have if you don't get this clean plate shot. Even if your main footage is handheld, you wanna to try to lock down your clean plate if you can so that you can later track that into your moving main footage. But it's, it's really important to make sure that your lighting and the composition of your clean plate shot matches your main footage. So usually you shoot the clean plate just before you shoot the effect shot or immediately after. I, I bring this all up about the clean plate now because of course in filming this particular shot, my closet drop shot, I forgot to shoot my clean plate and I never shot just the rug without the green screen cover on the floor. And so I got a shot later of the rug, but my lighting conditions were different, my composition was different, and this created all kinds of problems for me and just made color correction and trying to get the grain of the carpet to match a lot more difficult than it would, been, uh, would have been if I had done it correctly and shot it at the time that I had my camera and my lights all mounted up in the closet. And that's my tip for the day. I'll be making more of these as I make my way through post-production, so be sure to subscribe and click the little bell so that you get notified when I post new videos. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.